Previously on d Cost Studios. Not this conversation not is not going though. any further. Yes, it is. No, I'm just so happy to see this man <laughs> okay. more than anything. Ears be opened. Ears be opened right now. Anything okay. that's has oh. problems where it must go in the name of Jesus. Oh. Bars, bro. <laughs> I can't do it on camera, bro. Oh, yeah, man. Yo, on the Luke 10 with my best friends, gonna get it, making those demons come to an end. So after praying for people in the mall and then yet again having another meal provided by the Lord, we continued to do outreach and try preaching to people, but we just weren't experiencing any more fruit. I'm not going to turn down prayer, but I am in a rush. Okay. So I don't want to hold you guys up. Give him a card real quick. Maybe he can check that out. Ma'am, do you need prayer for anything today? And all and what we believe. Let's go. Let's go. It's the same thing, but in a different way. We we can go in your way. We can go in our way. Now they're trying to change it. Yeah, well, Je you. Jesus is different. Jesus, he, he's he's Jesus, the only he's the, he, he's the only Jesus one he's the only one that can get into heaven. Good, and I do something good. We are Jesus. That's not what anyway. you're deceived, okay, ma'am. You need to repent. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're about to leave this spot because nothing was happening. We're wiping the dust off our feet <laughs> right now. That's what's happening. <laughs> you gotta wipe it off. Yeah. Well, does he prayer? Oh wow, somebody just she finally said yes said. as we were leaving. Literally yeah. as we were wow. leaving. This is like some rich mall. A lot of times when we go to like rich places, people nobody wants prayer, nobody wants to hear about Jesus. Everybody thinks that they're good <laughs> because because they they have their material things and they put their trust, their faith is in their material things and in the things of the world like their their jobs or whatever. So nobody thinks that they need Jesus, but they're gonna be in a rude awakening many people when when the day of judgment uh, comes so it's a little disappointing because you know we're going to these places and it's like everybody's just kind of like almost like a zombie in a way but um you know jesus said that that this is why it's hard for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven so yeah all right so we're on the car it's like 108 a.m right now so we're all just sleeping in the car no back pain in the morning in Jesus name <laughs> so. Supernatural sleep and restoration to our energy in the name of Jesus Motel Dodge right here five stars <laughs> So the very next day we did outreach at Clearwater for a few hours It was beautiful outside and then eventually later on we were on the road again We were just passing by and um, we actually go around praying for people and just doing the Lord's will And I saw the the big church. I mean the cross the cross in the front. I didn't realize it was a church Well, yeah, we're on a we're just on a trip just um, going wherever the Holy Spirit leads and uh, we we're just passing by here And I saw the cross in front of the church yeah. But yeah, I didn't I didn't realize it was a church. I was like, okay, that must be a house. Well, yeah, we yeah. thought about putting a steeple on it and never got uh -huh. to that, but uh, it <laughs> is a church. Okay. Yeah. And we so we also see people get healed in Jesus name. Does anybody Amen. in here have any pain or anything I going have on? Pain, but I have I've been healed once before. I am uh -huh. actually the pastor here undercover, okay. but um I uh, in 2015 my kidney stopped working. Uh -huh. I went on dialysis and uh, uh, we kept praying. I'm back on dialysis. Here's my little jumper cables right here. Okay. And um, three times a week, I have to go in for three mm -hmm. hours. Let's pray for that. Is Let's that fine? Do that, Where's yeah. where is it so we can lay it's, hands it's on? The kidneys here, and then here's the port. This is a port here. Okay. Yeah, that goes right into my heart. Okay. And uh, it filters the blood out of the heart. So Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for Daniel, God. We thank you for his oh um just. Uh, welcomeness for for us opening uh, coming out of his home Lord God and being so uh, kind to us Lord and we just pray right now father I believe you let us hear Lord God because you want to heal him fully Lord God be fully restored full functionality in the kidneys right now blood be cleansed in Jesus mighty name speak life into the kidneys every organ in this body be healed right now be restored and recover in Jesus name Jesus. he will no longer need dialysis anymore amen. amen and we thank you that by by your stripes we he is healed, healed yeah. God thank we you thank Lord. you God thank you, amen
Man. Thank you, Lord. Guys, what are all your names? Hey, Sus. Uh-huh. And uh, I'm Dylan. Dylan? Nick. Nick. So I know you're watching part three right now, and uh, part three's day two technically of the trip and that's where I really started to like die to my flesh. I was starting to just feel myself spiritually like you know flesh versus your spirit like just battling my own self. I wanted to come on camera now because this is where I was really being challenged was later on day two and basically I just I was about to cave. I was about to go back to the school which we're here now. I, I didn't though. I slept in the car a second night. It was the next day that we went back to the biker rally. It was Sunday. We went back to the biker rally and we you know did some more outreach there. There's actually worship there. Very good singer. Very good singer. But we did some worship there and then after that is when I was like, I can't take this anymore because I'll be honest, my team wanted, they felt led to go to Orlando and I, I was praying about it. I felt that peace coming back. I'll be honest though, I'm the one who came back and we made it to Sunday. Sunday was the day we were supposed to go back, but shout out to my brothers, man, because they went the extra mile. They stayed out another night and I knew it. I knew it from the beginning of saying this because I found out who my team was before the trip even started. And and I was like, yeah, they're definitely coming back Monday. There's no way I, I'm going to be back Sunday. I chose to come back Sunday because I was just like exhausted and burnt out. Huge credit to each team member. I'm actually going to put their stuff in the description because you can watch their perspective. But shout out to Jesus, Pasha, and Nick. Bold lines, man. And you guys went the extra mile, went to Orlando, and they saw more fruit there. But this is a whole new journey for me. The whole school, which I'll do a video about, like, talking about what I learned, how I grew. But the whole school, yes, I learned a lot. And I feel like many people came here to be trained up to be a disciple, learn how to pray over people, pray for the sick, cast out demons, baptize people. I came here and I, I just died. That, that was school for me, just dying. You know, it might be funny and I might be expressing it in a very joyful way on the camera, but you guys really haven't seen that side. I try not to share too much of that side on the channel, but like I said, I'm gonna go into depth on that eventually, so. I appreciate you guys watching my journey. It took three parts to share this journey and uh, I'm just thankful for everybody who's been watching. So make sure to subscribe, leave a like on this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.